everyone, it's been a while since I posted the video. I've been kind of busy. I was a cast member for the first six months of the year and now I'm returning back to school. But I'm back with new costumes for the Run Disney Half Marathon weekend in Disneyland Paris. As you can see, it was kind of a big thing this year, so I'll get into that later. For today, I'll only talk about the 5k, but you'll see this getting built in a few weeks. So the theme of this year was villains, and I was kind of disappointed, which is probably an unpopular opinion. I'm not kind of like the Disney villain person. I do have my favorite villains, I do have villains that I like. But overall, I'm not really into the whole dark, evil, green, purple thing. Even though I was kind of disappointed, I tried to make the best out of it, and I did. So the specific theme for the 5k was Marvel and I've only watched two Marvel movies with my full attention but the thing that those two movies had in common which were Guardians of the Galaxy 2 and Infinity War is that they had this girl and this easily became my favorite character and along with some other reasons she was kind of the perfect choice for the 5k so let's get on with the costume as usual, I made my sketches and first notes on this costume, like what I needed and what I'd need to make. I started off with the headband that represents the antennas, and the fact that the 5k is in the evening meant that the slide up antennas was a perfect idea. You can't really see it, but I used some metal wire around the headband to give the antenna some structure, which I then wrapped up with adhesive light strips that run on batteries. I made sure there was light at the top of the antennas and then I stuck it with duct tape, also to cover the wire and the other lights. For a better painting base, I gave a layer of paper mache which I then covered up with skin colored paint. Tip 1 for myself, foundation would have been the perfect skin color, but I don't use foundation so buying an entire bottle would have been kind of useless. For the skirt, the idea was that I only needed one long sleeved shirt, so I found a great sweater in Primark and I cut it up. I would use the body part as the actual shirt, the top sleeves would be extra fabric for the triangles on the side or any accessories that I had, while the bottom part were used as actual sleeves. The shirt was generally a size too big for me, so the first thing I did was to make the shirt fit to my body using a different tee. I ended up also cutting up a part of the bottom as the shirt was pretty long and I did need the extra fabric for the triangles on the side. I would love to experiment with actual fabric samples and stores instead of buying already existing garments, but I was kind of lacking the skills and the time. I know Mantis has an extra triangle on the back, but I didn't have enough fabric and time to add it. So I still had this fake leather fabric which I cut up and used as the black details on Mantis' shirt. As you can see in the video I was supposed to add more black parts but I decided to not sew it on as I felt like it would have given the shirt an even more amateurish look that it already had. As you might notice I left off a lot of details for this costume, this is because of time restraints. I started way too late with all my costumes and especially as this was for the 5k which I finished in 50 minutes. I felt like it was unnecessary to add every detail. The footage that you see here was filmed a week before the running weekend and by the time I had only finished one costume. Making the sleeves was pretty easy using basic sewing skills. I used the elastic still intact side for the top and just downsized the entire thing. Coming back on the time restraints thing, this year I tried to get the sewing machine going, but yet yeah, another attempt that I just failed at. I'm not sure about the costumes for next year, but since there is probably fabric involved, I need to get my skills together. But hey, looking back to spend up footage, I was kind of my own sewing machine. I added some details and tip 2 for myself, scissors need to be sharp. 
I don't have a separate fabric scissors, but depending on future crafts, I may invest on one. Because that weekend I didn't have my proper pair of scissors, which was very frustrating. I still had gloves made from socks from a different costume, so I only needed to adjust them to make it look kinda accurate. The footage cut it off, but I made strips from the fake leather and added some velcro to get the detail on the upper arm. I didn't have any proper solution for pants, I didn't buy any extra sporting pants, but I wanted to stay somewhat accurate so I just took my favorite jeans, which are black, and sew a strip of green felt on top of it. Again, for 5k I didn't really mind to run in jeans, and I still can remove it, as if I never did anything to it. It was kind of a fun detail for the race. I should have made the entire costume in the same green as this green felt. But again, my skills in fabric are really basic. And that's the costume. I like how the costume turned out, even though I left out a lot of details. So the 5k was alright. Um, I got my photo with Gamora, which is the thing that really counted for me during the race. I got my medal, I got my pictures, and yeah, it's been a fun run. Anyways guys, I hope you like this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. And I hope... You'll stay tuned for my 10k and 21k videos.